Hi y'all, welcome back to Amber's Diamond Painting. This is Amber, this is me, and today, tonight we're gonna do a whipping chat. I'm gonna answer some tag questions for Chris the Christmas premiere, yay! Um, this is, my, I believe, is it my second, third? I know second for sure, y'all. I'm not even quite sure. Um, I believe, yeah. Because my first one was the dp -a thon And then I did the Christmas. Yeah, so this is my second one. And I'm so excited for this premiere that Pippa Brown does. Really exciting. So I've had some new subscribers. So I thought, and also some people that maybe don't remember. Or that, you know, it's just fun to answer some questions about Christmas. So... I have some tag questions, Christmas related. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. But, how are y'all? I hope y'all are having a wonderful morning, day, night, wherever it is, wherever you're from. And let me show you what we're working with. So, we are working on snow deer. I'm hoping to get this done by Christmas. Eh, I might. Okay, I have, I do have a lid and a stopper for this one too, but this beautiful purple one from Muni Maid. Love my Muni Maid trays. Um, then this color, it's a teal-ish color, but it comes off more blue on camera. And I don't know where, um, and I have the lid. But I've got to find this dot. I have them in one of my little containers that I put all my stuff in. I just, I can't find it right now. <laughs> this tray. And the pins I'm using is this one. I bought these from Gem and Jess. Oh, no, not all of them. These two. So I don't know where they came from. Look, it's this little mini. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? Oh my goodness. Y'all, and it's got, I don't know if you can see. It's got sparklies in it. Oh my goodness. And a little bit of bling. And it's a baby. <laughs> so cute. Okay, then I got this one that Teresa had made for me. And I don't remember the name of the company. I don't remember. Darn it. Teresa Love, thank you so much. This has my name, you can see. So sparkly and beautiful, I love it. And then you can place it like this and it has a flat, flat part right here. So it doesn't roll like the other ones. And then this one, it's like a mother of pearl reminds me of, love them. And they're not too heavy, you know? Sometimes it gets hard with my rheumatoid arthritis. It's really hard sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> this is the minders I'm going to be using. And in this box, also, in this box is my little Muni Maid. So this is what it looks like. So you have the lid and then you have a stopper. This is my white pearl one love it then I just got black on top okay so these are my special drills I want I'm gonna be using a lot of the um, these are all from shimmering canvases by the way go take a look at her shop y'all she's amazing Dawn is lovely. I love her so much. She's so kind, so sweet, so generous. Look at these ABs. Square AB crystals, y'all. What? Square AB crystals. Yeah, buddy. I'm so excited. I've already used a few. I've already used some of these. And I thought I was using the blue ones. And now I was using the amethyst but oh well I was you accidentally used the amethyst in the blue part 
And, I was, and see, I got some, these are not the AB, they're just red. Um, I got some more different reds. I got purples, lots of colors. Here's some, the blue that I thought I was using. It's called Blue Flame. That's what I thought I was using over here, but I, I wasn't. Some more purples, a burgundy. So yeah. I will link her website and, oh, and she's got a cool, um, you can download her app, y'all. And you can use after, uh, Sezzle, I know for sure. I think Afterpay and, like, PayPal for installments and stuff like that. These are just my leftover drills. So my spares. Or maybe, no, some of these aren't my spares. Some of these are the ones that I need because I didn't have enough room. That's what it was. That's what it is. These are the ones that I'm going to need to use for the painting. These are my spares. So, I just got them all. Oh, stop. Y'all, the dogs are still here. They're still alive, I promise. <laughs> Here is my, I lost the brown color. I don't know what happened to it. I have no idea. That's why it's sticking out right there. Okay, now the minders. So, I don't remember where I received, where I got this minder. Um, I'm not sure at all, but it's so pretty. It was one of my first minders that I've ever gotten. Then I have this Santa, and I got these in when I got the, from Distracted by Diamonds, um, or, oh my goodness, my mind went blank. Patty Wax, I got them in the tins, the special tins that she has out, and then I was going through my stuff, and I almost threw away this, this sack, and I looked, and y'all... I never opened what I got from um, Mariah from Crazy Diamonds. She has an Etsy shop and it's um, Stash Junkie. And this cover minder, y'all. It's a crystal and look at the bling she put on it. I use that also. I hadn't even done an unboxing. I feel horrible. Mariah, I'm sorry, love, if you even watch this. I'm so sorry. Okay. And here is, yeah, my... Um, all my special drills now I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them I just have them just in case you know just in case so let's get to it to it I think I'm gonna test out the baby one the little baby one you guys this is my how many tries um, more than four. Definitely three, I think. This is might be my fourth. But look at those, um, square crystal ABs. Can you even? Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't. I get so excited. Oh, I forgot to show you. I decorated my little, my little board for y'all. How cute. We wish you a Merry Christmas right here. Santa, Gingerbread Man, a bow, Santa, and then two bows, and then the flannel thing on the top. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm not at my desk, so I can't like light a candle and put cute stuff around, so I decided just to decorate that. Um, when I thought I was still recording and I was working on this, I had taken off this part I had... A ribbon that had like the red truck and snow and stuff like that on this bottom but it was preventing me it makes me have a hard time being able to diamond paint which I didn't like so yeah let's get to it to it so we're gonna be working on this sorry let me get this right okay 
So we are going to be working on this symbol. Sorry, it's hard to see. That symbol. The stick, the line, the... Like a pregnant belly. <laughs> okay. I think Miss Crocheting Coffee said that. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Okay. But it's $7.99. And that's what I thought I was mixing with the blue flame. But I put down amethyst. And it works. I don't care. It's going to be beautiful. So it's these right through here. That's what we're going to be working on as... Let me see. I answer... Um, and you can go ahead and um, I want to say welcome back everybody um, thank you so so much for supporting me and being there and being so sweet um, I love each and every one of y'all y'all are truly amazing and a blessing truly love y'all I'm going to use this bigger one sorry because I've got color blocking this one has a lot of color blocking that I want to lay down drills and y'all this kit coming from sorry they are bumping me but coming from the kits where there were new drills new square drills to this one i was like oh i kind of rem remember why i didn't like square drills square canvases because i don't like having to check to make sure that they're all right yeah so I am so happy that they made that change because it's made a heck of a difference I love doing square paintings now if you would have asked me that after I did Adeline during the collab um, I'd have been like you're insane I will never do another square canvas again I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of all of them. <laughs> she almost put me off of diamond paint, y'all. Like, I almost had a breakdown. I did have a breakdown because of her. Oh my goodness, Adeline. She's gorgeous, though. Does this happen to y'all? Or is it just me? Do you lay down drills and you come back and they're like all wonkus and you know you didn't place them that way? Like, what happens? I didn't even have it rolled up. I just had it laying flat. What in the world? Okay. So, sorry if you hear my dogs. They're ramming each other into the door. They're being crazy. Um. But yeah, I just re I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all are truly amazing. Okay. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've done a whipping chat. Oh, and can we say I'm so disappointed with my nail polish? This, oh, well, that's new. That, that's new. Yep, see, I was just, I, oh, those are new. I just washed my hands with this, with the foaming bath scrub that I, the foaming bath whipped, foaming whipped bath scrub. Foaming bath scrub that I made whipped, but yeah, well, okay, blah, blah, blah. getting tongue tied, and it took off my nail polish, y'all. Like it started chipping right from the beginning. I got this. Can you? Can does anybody have any suggestions? Because I tried to put nails on and I was too rough, I guess, and then I don't. I never do the proper thing and soak them in acetone I just start popping them off and then I don't want to hurt my nails like I did before and then also I didn't want to put any more on right now is because I got a uh, at work I, I always get um paper cuts but that one's so deep it hurts so bad y'all and I don't want to imagine glue getting inside there Ooh, it's gonna hurt me okay <laughs> So, and last time I was having such a hard time 
talking, I was like, I'm going to have to do tag questions because what am I going to talk about? I don't want to talk about my health or anything like that. Um, I talk a lot about that and I don't want to talk about that right now. And so I was like, I'll just do tag questions and here I am rambling on. But anyway, if you can please tell me if you're not polished, that does not come off so easy just by washing your hands. Okay. Okay. So a few tag questions. Um, is favorite holiday movie? Oh, that's a hard one. There's of course like when I was younger, Home Alone. No, Marshall. No, sir. No. Stay. Home Alone, um, what is it, no, National Lampoon's, that one, he's, that's so funny, and The Christmas Story, love, love, love those, I love, um, Four Christmases with Reese Witherspoon, that's so funny, love that one, there's quite a few, actually, that I like, but, those are the ones that come in my head first. Okay. My Christmas color is definitely like a deep burgundy reds. Love, love reds, love deep burgundy. My favorite color, one of my favorites is deep burgundy. Like almost a, and then like a purpley marlowe. Like, I don't know my colors very well, but like a purpley burgundy color do you know what I'm talking about kind of like 154 in the DMC color that's all I can how I can describe it yeah those are definitely my favorite I'm not one for I do like me some like this color green um I actually got a really pretty like burnt orange one so I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit with my clothing. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, that's definitely my main colors. Okay. Um, dress up or stain in your PJs for Christmas? Um, I think I like to dr try and dress up on Christmas Day just because I know there's going to be pictures and everything and I don't want to look like the only bum you know like and that's completely fine if you if you don't like I'm not saying that I'm just saying like I know my family I know there's gonna be lots of pictures taken and I'm gonna be the only one looking a hot mess that's all I'm trying to say and so I'd like to put on just a little bit of, even if I put on some mascara and do my eyebrows, like that's good enough. I don't have to get completely dressed up. Please believe me, I'm still probably gonna be wearing sweats. I ain't getting dressed up like fancy fancy. I'm talking about putting on a little bit of makeup. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're probably never gonna catch me not wearing sweats. Especially with my feeding tube, y'all. I can't, yeah. It's, it's so much easier just wearing sweats or leggings. You know, even leggings can be harder. I'm, I'm figuring out that it's so much easier with just sweatpants. I'm so glad my work lets me wear sweatpants. I don't know what to do, what I'd do if I couldn't wear my sweatpants to work. Because that would be very uncomfortable for me. And I have to have access, you know to my feeding tube. So yeah. I'm sorry that my dog, he, they decide to go eat and then bring it on the bed to eat it. And then you probably hear them tromping. Then you probably hear them burping. <laughs> and if you hear my husband snoring, I apologize. This is life, right? Real life. And if you hear a weird sound in the background, that is my my feeding pump. So it'll make this sound. Like a wheel turning. Yeah. That's my feeding tube pump. Um, I've had to have that replaced 
This is my third pump, so it better act right. The first one I got worked really good at first until it started squealing. Every time it would do that, it would squeal and chirp like a bird or something. I was really looking around, so confused, thinking that there was a bird in here. Oh my goodness. And I do vape, y'all. I'm sorry. I try not to do it as much, but I'm not sorry. I am sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> I just know you probably don't want to hear the noise, you know. But... If you hear me, that's what it is. Okay. And I've just got to come to terms with that these drills are just not going to lay and be as straight as my other canvases that I've fallen back in love with squares. Um, this one's just not going to be the same. And... It's because it's an older one, which is fine. I'll deal with it. I have, I've definitely had worse. Um, but like I said, I'm so glad they changed and are making their own drills because I wasn't going to buy it. To be honest, I was going to stop buying square drills, canvases, even if I loved them. It wasn't going to matter. And there for a long time, I didn't buy squares because of, because of that type of stuff and it's really really this canvas is sticky but it's kind of slippery at the same time I don't even did I do an unboxing to this one I hope so the other ones I showed you all I, I realized I didn't even do an unboxing I'm like oh man okay back to the questions Um, if you could only buy one person a, a Christmas present this year, who would it be? I'm going to say my mom. She deserves everything. Everything and more. My mom is just truly amazing. She's my best friend. Um, she does a lot for me. I don't know where I'd be without her. And yeah, my mom. I'd buy her whatever she wants. <laughs> she better be saying I'll buy a big old house. So then y'all just move in with me. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, and I do want to apologize, not just about my nail polish, but if my hands have been so dry from going back to work. If y'all work with paper all day, let me know, please. Um, I can't say where I work, but I do work for the government. And I handle paper all day, every day. And that paper, it just sucks every bit of moisture out of your skin, your face, every part of your skin. It just absorbs it. So I apologize, I try really hard. Um, this, I'll show you my favorite um, hand cream. And it's almost gone, I'm so sad. I got this in an Ipsy box and I'm going to have to look up this brand because I love it. It's Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream Cactus and Pink Pepper. I'm loving, like, more spicier scents and stuff. I love it. I can't remember what perfume I would got, but, oh, I was in love because I get scent bird. This is not sponsored, by the way. I wish. I wish. Oh, my goodness. I wish I'd be sponsored by Ipsy or Scentbird. That that'd be a dream come true. Um. Okay, Amber, you get off track too much. Okay, that's why I have these questions, y'all. 
Okay, do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Both. So, what we're doing this year is my mom, we are going to my mom's for Christmas Eve, all the whole family, and we're all playing games, and we're all pitching in and buying presents, and we're gonna play the saran wrap game and we have just we have tons of games that we're gonna play my family we love to play games darn it one of the dogs i think stepped on the remote um but we love to play games we're competitive but in a good way we don't get too upset <laughs> the, people say i do and i'm like no i don't but they say I'm very competitive, which I am. Like, but I just want people, if they cheat, like, I don't like when people try to cheat at games. Like, that's not fair. That's not fun. Let's not do that, okay? <laughs> that's all. And I need to be on the winning team. That's all. That's, I'm not asking too much, am I? I'm just kidding. It's going to be so much fun, though. I cannot wait. This year, I've never been more excited about Christmas because I'm not worried about buying everybody anything and stuff like that. And the only thing that kind of I'm down about, and this might sound st stupid to people, but for me loving diamond painting as much as I do, since I wasn't able to work <clears throat> after my surgery and I didn't get paid for FMLA I was I've been off I just so the last two weeks I've been back to work and so I've been off since October 1st so I haven't brought in any income and so when Black Friday came around I wasn't able to get anything and people probably like that's not a big deal. Well it is because all y'all know in the diamond painting community world that um, all of the diamond painting companies you get the best deal and only one time a year usually is you get this big huge deal for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So I look forward to that every year since I've been diamond painting. And yeah, I was not able to get anything at all. So I, I just stopped looking because I was like, oh man, I want that. Like, I'll be able to get stuff hopefully soon. It just sucks because you know, when you really want one and then you're like, please be there, like, I get paid Friday. <laughs> like, I don't know. And then it's, my husband laughed because, um, he walks in, he's like, what are you watching? I was like, YouTube. He's like, yeah, what is, what is it? And I was like, oh, people are opening up their, um, like, their fun mail. It's like, their happy mail. Um, it's where, um, people send them gifts and they're opening it and, um, and it's for, like, their Christmas and stuff. And he's like, why are you watching that? And he's like, you have such a big smile on your face. And I'm just like, I don't know, I just love to see people opening stuff and, and their, ex their excitement makes me happy. I don't know. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know. But yeah, he thought he thought that was weird. That I was watching all these unboxings of people's happy mail. But it makes me so excited, especially when they're so genuine and so happy about receiving gifts. There's some I watch where I'm like, okay, like, I can tell that it's just a thing now that you just, you always get 
Mel, and I can tell you're not excited. You used to be excited. Now you're not. I mean, they're excited. They're grateful, but they're not that excited. They're just like me. I'm like, ah. But um, yeah, that's what I've been obsessed watching. And then of course, I was at work and um, my friend was like, "What are you watching?" And I was like, I'm watching my soap channels, how to make soap. I was like, I make soap. She's like, wait, you make soap? She's like, and you make wax melts? And you make this stuff for your diamond painting? I said, yes. And I make body butters. And um, my whipped foaming um, bath scrub. And she was like, what the heck? How do you do all that? I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I haven't even got my Etsy store up. Like, yeah, I've made it, but I haven't got it up and going yet. So that's something I need to get done ASAP. Okay, back to the questions. Oh, so I don't even think I, I answered. Did I? So, oh no, I didn't. So we open, we usually open, I've always, I, my mom started, had this tradition with us and then my kids have passed it on where we open one present on Christmas Eve. And so that's what we stick to is everybody gets to open one present for Christmas Eve. And yeah the kids um yeah and then for christmas we're gonna go to his mom's my husband so my mother-in-law's house and we're gonna spend christmas there um everybody went went over there and was helping make tamales and I'm just not feeling good, y'all. My, I haven't been doing feeling good. I've been really nauseous and stuff. So I wish I. I love making them and I love helping. We all we all have a lot of fun every year. We do it when we do it. So all us girls, all us women, we're not girls. We're women. Um, we have a lot of fun. They'll have masa fights and everything. <laughs> it's funny. My girls, they always get into masa fights every year. It's just fun. Fun to be around family, laughing, music. That's, it's so fun. Holding the new babies and all that fun stuff. This ain't lining up right. Crap. Can you all see that? Okay. So, next question. Have you ever built um, a gingerbread house? Yes, with my kids when they were little one time. Um... It was a horrible disaster. They were fighting the whole time. None of them were getting along. It just... <laughs> it wasn't enjoyable. I don't know if it was just because maybe they were too little. And I had done it too soon. And they just weren't old enough or what it was. But I was like, never again am I going to make another gingerbread house. And I didn't. I never have made another gingerbread house. So... Yeah. I think I made one when I was little for school or project or something. I don't remember, but I vaguely remember that and doing something like that for school when I was little. Okay. Oops. What else? Come on. Come on, work with me. Work with me. No. 
Goodness, there we go. Okay. What do you like to do for Christmas break, for your Christmas break? I don't know if this is geared more towards kids that are on school break. I don't really get a Christmas break. Um, I get Friday off. Um, but that's about it. I'm just going to enjoy being around my family. Um, that's the best part of Christmas for me is being around my family and having that family time and just everybody and laughing and enjoying themselves and it's going to be fun. I know it. This year is going to be epic. I know that my mom's put a lot of planning into um, this Christmas Eve party get together we're having and it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. I love it. Um, I love to get together and have um, family game nights and stuff like that. We used to do that a lot. And we need to get back to doing that. Because we make a lot of good memories that way. And I want the little crown babies to know how fun it is to play games with the family and everything too. And that it's okay to lose, you know? It's okay if you lose, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, okay. Um, favorite Christmas smells? That's a tricky one. Um, I do like the warm, like, smells. I, I love vanilla. I love, like, amber vanilla. I love the, I don't know. Like, my favorite perfume that I'm wearing right now is um, pink sugar. And they're discontinuing pink sugar, y'all. I am so sad. I just... I just received pink sugar in my um, scent bird and then I um, was going to try to look to find out where to buy it because I had no idea. I didn't know if it was designer or where it came from or you know. And so I found out that you could get it at Walmart. So I was like, babe, <laughs> need some money, I need to go to Walmart. And I went to Walmart and they had a little gift set for like um like 13 bucks and then each of their body sprays they were like on sale and they had three left so i bought three i bought all three so i have four body sprays and i hope it lasts <laughs> and it's probably not gonna because you know how body sprays are they don't last long as perfume does I was wondering why that perfume never lasted long, and it's because it's a like a it's a body spray. I don't think they have a perfume. If they do, and you know about it, please let me know because I'll be trying to find that perfume before it's all gone. But I think it's just a body spray. And y'all, it smells amazing. I cannot get enough of it. So, I'm even going to order when I get my paycheck. I'm going to order some fragrance of pink sugar so I can make melts and my diamond paint and wax. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Love it. Okay. But, yeah, I like um, my favorite perfume. One of my favorites is the... Heavenly Angel by Victoria's Secret. I don't know if it's just called Heavenly now. Um, that's 
one of my favorites. I love the Amber Romance collection. Um, yeah, those are my favorite scents. I feel like I'm missing one. Or if my kids seen this, they'd be like, Mom. But those are my scents. I, whenever I'm wearing, when everybody's, anybody's wearing like, Um, I think they said like the Heavenly Angel or the Amber Romance or anything kind of like that. Like they think of me. That's so funny. And like my body wash and stuff. Like they're like, yeah, whenever you would get out of the shower, mom, like it would just smell so good. And we just love the smell of your body wash. So that's what they use now. I'm like, aww. I love my daughters. Okay. And to anybody new, I have two daughters and one son. They're all grown. They're going to be... 20... Wait. 23, 24, 25 this year so their birthdays two of them are in February and one's in March so and they're yep all grown and I've got four grandbabies which is amazing I love them with all my heart our little thing that we do with my that I do with my grandbabies is um, I've always told them I love you to the moon and back and all the stars and they have to say it like that all the stars it's so funny my um um I call her pretty she um always comes and grabs my face and holds my face in her little hands and it's like yeah yeah I love you so much and she's like you're so beautiful she melts my heart. It's so crazy to me how they can be such angels and then they're just like little demons. You're like, okay, I'm go to your mom. <laughs> no, go go to your mom. Go hang out with mom now. It was a good chat we had. <laughs> I love them. They're so much fun. So I have two granddaughters and I have two grandsons. So it's all even and my son, they are trying, him and his fiance are trying to have a baby and I am praying for them. It's been a very, oh, it wouldn't be my video without the sirens, y'all. Every time. Um, but if anybody out there, if you believe in prayer, prayers or anything, could you please just, you know, send them some prayers that it'll happen, hopefully soon for them. It's something they both really want, and yeah makes my heart hurt because me and my husband we tried for five years for another one for a fourth I just knew I was gonna I was supposed to have another boy it's a crazy crazy feeling I like how my son used to say his little brother and stuff like it's it's weird I really think he was a twin I just have a feeling I was supposed to have another son. I always have. But that's a different story. Okay. So I think we got scents pretty much down. I do like uh, the cinnamon pine cones that are scented. Those smell very delicious. 
I don't like when there's a lot of overwhelming like cinnamon and cloves. Okay, I didn't realize that. It's been 45 minutes now. I better get these questions going. Okay, so I'm going to put both these questions together. It's, have you ever had a white Christmas and have you ever built a snowman? Yes and yes. I live in Utah, so we get plenty of snow here. And then before Utah, I was raised and born and raised in Idaho. So, I always laugh saying I was raised by hillbillies because just good old country boys, <laughs> you know. Um, just the way they talked. I, I was around that a lot. Um, but yes, and we even would build like, me and my cousin, we'd build like little igloos and stuff. You guys, when my husband starts wiggling and stuff, I get nervous because I think he's going to toot. And I do, I do not edit my videos because I'm not technically savvy I am challenged in that department I have difficulties and so none of my vi videos are ever edited I do pause it and stuff like that but I paused a couple times because I thought Mia was gonna bark and then once so I could take a puff of my e-cigarette and then, sorry, three times, and then once because I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna, you know, toot. Oh, I hope he doesn't. Please don't. That's what I'm thinking this whole time. I'm like, oh my gosh. He's sleeping, so it's not weird, but then he's sleeping, so he doesn't know. Like, when he's awake and he's sitting here, I'm doing it. I'm kind of like, why are you in here? Like, can you go downstairs? And watch TV, like, please, like, it's kind of weird, I've never had someone be right here when I'm doing a video, but, see, he's moving around a lot, well, of course you can't see, but, I'm letting you know he's moving around a lot, so, it makes me nervous, I'm like, please don't, please don't, okay, so yes, I've had both. Real or fake Christmas trees? I like both. I love real Christmas trees. I grew up having real Christmas trees. But they're a pain in the butt because the needles and stuff start falling off quick. They hardly ever last till Christmas, till actual Christmas. And they can cause a huge mess. So yeah. But I love both. And I love, um, like, simple trees. I don't like the trees that are, everything's crammed all in there, and, I mean, they're pretty, yeah, but, I don't know. I like the more simple of a tree. Not like a Charlie Brown. My mom, like, loves Charlie Brown trees. But... I like a, a full tree and um, my mom got one that's, um, what do you call those, that are white, but it looks like snow on it. I don't know what it's called. I feel stupid. I have it on the tip of my tongue. I know it starts with an F. Um, I can't think of it but um and my mom's Christmas tree is so beautiful this year I love it I love the colors that she's put she did a good job my daughter Elijah does a really good job with her tree she's a really good decorator um yeah I, I do like both <coughs> And yeah, my daughter, she's really good at decorating and everything. Sorry, I had to pause because my husband started copying. <laughs> I 
Oh goodness. So I learned something new about my husband. So I guess when he's sleeping, he will talk to me and I think he's awake. And I'm asking him questions and I think that he's awake and he's not awake, I guess, apparently. He doesn't remember that I even asked him those questions and I'm like, oh, all right, that's something brand new after 22 years. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to Y next. I don't know how long our videos, I think they're only supposed to be an hour long, I believe. Um, so I can't go past the hour because I do not want to have to start it over. Okay, we got about nine minutes left or so. Let me get Y really quick. Why do this? Let me pause. Okay, y'all. Yeah, got it all set. Oh, here comes some more. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't want to go past an hour because I think everybody has an hour. And so I'd rather be a little bit under so that that gives time for the next video than or be exactly at um, maybe like 59 minutes or something. 59 minutes and some seconds. So, I hope everybody is going to have, if you celebrate Christmas, uh, celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year and just a happy holidays. And I hope you enjoy being with family or friends and you just have a great time. Anybody that's going through a hard time, um, I'm here for you if you need to reach out. Please reach out to me. I know for some people it can be hard during Christmas time. And, yeah. Please reach out. I always put my name and my email in my descriptions of my videos. So... I appreciate everyone that comments and gives me likes. It does help me a lot. Um, I love interacting with everybody. That puts a huge smile on my face. When, when I see comments, um, I get so extremely happy. And I love to comment back and just interact with everybody. It's a lot of fun. Um... I do have Ko-Fi, it's like buy me a coffee and I think it's, it's kind of like a buy me a coffee. I started drinking coffee actually since going back to work so legit buy me a coffee or it's kind of like a little like a little tip I guess like hey thank you you know I haven't hit my thousand subscribers yet yet I'm gonna gonna be it's gonna be soon y'all we're almost at 800 subscribers I'm so excited I cannot wait if you do like my videos please like and comment and if you like them a lot please maybe share um, that would that would help me out a lot if you don't like my video um, go ahead and you can put the thumbs down um, But, yeah, I just hope that everybody has a great holidays and that you get what you want. Or if you don't celebrate, that you just have a wonderful time with your family. And, um, I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see me put the, but I will do more ribbon chats with this canvas, I promise. And, because I cannot wait to, and I didn't even use a cover reminder, y'all. And I cannot wait to use more of the special drills, especially the square crystal ABs. Again, that's from Shimmering Canvases, shimmeringcanvases.com. She's also on Etsy and she has an app. Donna is awesome. And, oh, and she's got diamond paintings, y'all. 
Yes, she's got diamond paint ends. So that's cool. And yeah. I really got back into diamond painting and oh how I've how I've missed it, you know. I kind of lost my interest for a minute in diamond painting and just in everything, but I'm glad I'm back to it, to it. <laughs> and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if there's any other videos you'd like me to do or unboxings you'd like to see, please um, give me your suggestions. And if to make my channel better, if you're going to be nice about it, please give me comments. Um, I don't mind, um, you know, suggestions or anything like that. Just don't be mean. Um, I don't get that a lot, but if I do, it's really hard for me not to clap back, y'all. <laughs> Just telling you that. But... That's not the time of year for that type of stuff. Um, let me see. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here, y'all, so that I don't go over and because I don't know how to edit. So, very scared of doing that. So, um, thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate, again, each and every one of y'all. You truly make me happy. Make my heart happy. I love y'all. Have a great, wonderful rest of your morning, day, or night, wherever you're at, wherever you're from. And for me, Mia and Marshall, we love you guys. And bye, guys. Thank you so much again, Pippa, and everybody that is helping do this. Um... Christmas premiere. It's amazing. You do it every single year. You are truly a rock star and amazing and I love it and I can't wait to hopefully be able to participate again next year because this is so awesome and amazing. I love it. And okay. All right. Bye guys. For me, me and Marshall. We love you guys. <laughs>